Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Trying to remember what it was I was doing. <laughs> Guy was buying a, one of these AHPs the other day, and he said, Kevin, what's the difference between the 110 and the 220? I know the machine will do both, but what do you get at the end of the torch? You know, wh why would you want 110 or 220? You know, if I only have 110, what can I do with it? And I thought, okay, well, I've been playing with some quarter inch plate here, working on a sculpture. So let's fire up the AHP Alpha TIG 200 over here. I'll run it on 220, and then I'll just go ahead and shut it off, switch it over to 110. Don't change the amperage, don't change the setting over there. Just switch it from 110 to 220, and we'll weld another piece of quarter inch plate, and let's see what the difference is. Okay, so let's just fire up the, the machine. I'm on 220. I know when I go to 110, I'm going to lose about half of my available working amperage. Because you're putting half the power in, you're going to get about half the power out. So it's set on 4T, no pulse, you know, DC, uh, 100 amps. It wants to fluctuate a little. <laughs> Stay there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'll get a little art going. And just dab along here a little bit. And stop. So now I'll shut the machine off. Let me get my adapter plug to go from the 220 plug to the 110 and we'll switch it over. Okay, so this is the plug that's on the machine, and this is the adapter cord that comes with the machine. It's in the accessory box, and it's just a real simple little plug it in, and go to 110, and then the machine will do the rest. Now, I know the machine will run on a 15 amp circuit on 110, but this one is a 20 amp, and that's what I would recommend. If you only have 110, go ahead and put in a 20 amp circuit and run it off of that, just so you got a little bit extra. So now we're back on 110, fire the machine up. See here on the amperage display, I, did, I didn't change it. I didn't change the knob, but it, went, it dropped from 100 amps down to 71 amps. Just by going from 220 down to 110, it dropped you know, almost 30 amps. So let's go to the main amp knob, and we'll just boost that back up again. So now we're back to 100 amps on 110. Let me put my helmet on, and we'll do another little bit of weld. So just get the arc going again. A little bit slower. Now there is 220, and there is 110. So now granted, quarter inch plate at only 100 amps, I know that's nowhere near enough amperage. You know, you, you figure about one amp per thousandth, thousandth of thickness. So this is 0 0.250 thick. So, nowhere near enough, but just to show you the difference. So, look at them here. And you can see the, you know, the 220 side, the 110 side. You know, they look pretty good on this side. But now, just flip them over. And you kind of look at the heat affected zone right there. They look pretty close to being the same, it doesn't look like there's much difference between, you know, the heat affected zones there, you know, the amount of heat, the amount of amperage that the machine is putting in. So 100 amps, 110, 100 amps, 220, it's still 100 amps. So let me fire the machine back up. It's still on 110, 
And let me just turn the amperage all the way up. Let's see how far we can get, how much amperage we can get out of it on 110. And then I'll switch it back over to 220 and we'll see how much we can get there. Just what the machine displays so you have a better idea of, you know, when you're sitting in your garage, you're only going to get this much amperage out of it. So 110. That's it. Displayed 136 amps. That's all the machine is saying it will put out on 110. Let me switch it back over to 220 without touching the knob, and we'll see what it says then. Well, that's all well and good, but I want to see what's it look like maxed out on 110 and then maxed out on 220. You mean welding? Yeah. Okay, back to the bench. Okay, so here we are at 136 amps at 110. On another piece of that quarter inch plate. And we'll just dab along here for a second or two. And stop. Okay, so let me just shut the machine off. I'll switch the plugs again. Not going to touch the amperage dial. Just out of 110, back to 220. We'll see what we get. Okay, so back on 220, flip the machine on. 191 amps indicated. So that's your max amp? So that's the max amps. That's with the, that's with the with my main amp knob all the way maxed out. And that's all it will indicate that it will do. So let me put my helmet back on and we'll finish that little weld. So here's maxed out on 220. So that's interesting right there. Look at the width of the 110 weld. And I'll look at the width of the 220 weld maxed out, you know, on the amperage on both ends. And if we flip it over, okay, so this is kind of hard to see in the camera, but let me just draw on it here just a little bit so you can see what I see. This is the 220 side over here. And you can just make out the heat affected zone in there, just kind of right inside where the chalk line is. But on the 110 side, on the 110 side, it's only about that big. So just a lot more amperage. You know, that's what you get off the 220, a lot more heat, a lot better penetration. So look right here. Now this is the 110 side. And you can see where the weld tried to penetrate just a little bit right there. Now, let's look at the other side. So now this is the 220 weld. And you can see how much further that went. You know, it, it tried to bite all the way through that quarter inch when I got to the end of the plate. So that kind of shows you the difference between 110, 220, you know, the different penetrations you can get, the different amperages you get over there on the machine. So, Great question. And if you have another one, you know, if you have a question about this machine or anything else I'm doing, send it on in. I'd be more than happy to try to mock it up here, run it, you know, show you, answer your question, show you what's going on right here on the bench. So I'm going to go back to work, and you guys are going to have a good day, and I'll see you next week. Okay, so I obviously need another bowl of Wheaties. Boy, that's tight. Hey, hey, hey.